get over it. This is Mr. Oz for you, 1995 here with another video. And this time around, I am doing showing off my Farscape TV show collection. So, in this deck, I have all four seasons of Farscape. Um, Farscape was a um, TV show, Australian and American sci fi sh television show, um, which started back in 1999 to 2003. That's all four seasons. Um, the show got cancelled, and it came back with a kind of a kind of a way to a movie or TV movie called Farscape Peace Peacekeeper Wars, which kind of lo loses, kind of um, wrapped up all the loose ends, sort of. So yes, um, this is the first season. Of this is the first season. This is the um, sixth disc collection box set of Farscape. Um, Farscape, as I said, was an Australian American sci-fi show. It was set in Australia um, with the help of the um, puppeteering from Jim Tanson's um, company. It, um, as I said, ran from 1999 to 2003. I think after the first season, I think it went from whatever, it was sh whatever next was showing to the Sci-Fi Channel, and eventually the Sci-Fi Channel cancelled it in 2003. Um, basically, the prop, prop, prop line of this story is that you have an astronaut called John Crichton, who stumbles through is on um, like a spaceship sort of thing. So he's an astronaut um, on, on his test flight when he's he's spacecraft voice and goes something goes wrong and he's go and he's shocked through a wormhole on a distant part of the galaxy and all the adventures begin. All the adventures begin. Uh, as I said the main characters you have John Crichton played by American Ben Brown. Um, as what was different about what was different about X uh, Fast Gab was that the entire cast and crew, um, the entire uh, main characters of the show was Australian New Zealand ascendant. So there were other Australian New Zealand actors and actresses, which was very interesting, especially come from Australia. Um, because, as I said, we don't have any major sci fi TV shows, and this was and still is kind of the only sci fi TV show that we ever have ever made in Australia. Now, of course, we have done in recent years Terra Nova, but except for minor characters and minor um, things, it might have been shot in Australia, but the majority of the cast were, were either Americans or things anyway. So, this was the major sci fi show that was done in Australia at the time. Um, and it, it, it's a very unique, unique um, show. It had a lot of, as I said, a lot of um, work from Jim Hansen's Squishy Shop because better than doing the things for the Muppets and other things like that. It just was a well done show. It was very different than the other sci fi show was on at its time. Um, you know, all the puppeteers and all these different aliens. And basically, the character of John Crichton is now trying to find a way home. And he stumbles on this living ship called Moya with all these other um, strange aliens lived on there. Um, it's handled by what they call the peacekeepers, who are kind of like, similar to humans, they look like humans, but they're not. And it's just a fun kind of show. I highly recommend it. As I said, this is the first season of the show. First season of the show. All up you have All up you have uh oh, yeah, we have twenty two um episodes. Sorry about that. Um has good special features, bonus strategy um um trivia qu um quizzes, test your fast gap knowledge. All these episodes are here. Open things up. 
Now I do remember watching this when it originally aired um, because it used to be on a, a television station in Australia. Um, good little thing for the show. So that is the first season, there's just some kind of bit of thing on there. So that's the first season. Uh, basically this is the second season of the show. Giving pictures on the front and the back. Um, as I said, all 22 episodes on this one as well. Um, all the episodes at the back. Um, you got some commentary, audio commentary um, on this one. Uh, season three, season three or twenty-two episodes. Good set. Look, good little set. Um, these are well, well thin. And this and these ones are all just plain discs. These ones. Um, audio commentary. Uh, things like that. Season 4, or 22 episodes again. Artwork. And they went back to using different kind of things as well. Uh, oh. uh, I guess in a way, the. I guess in a way. Um, kind of different ones in there as well, and of course with the TV media, we want to call it Peacekeeper Wars as well, um, which which came out in 2004. I think it came up after the show was cancelled, and when the show was cancelled, um, and it's good that it, it did do with that because a lot of shows that you know you follow three or four seasons of a show and all of a sudden it's cancelled without any knowledge especially if a show that is it hands on a cliffhanger I know for instance uh, Stargate Universe as much as people might have different pins on, on that show it ended on a cliffhanger you still don't know what happened it's same with Terra Nova as much as people may not like that TV show or not Reason why that got cancelled because of you know cost of doing things here because you know our dollar was very high back in then and it was just too expensive. But you know a lot of TV shows gets this you know especially you have four or five seasons of a show you just get cancelled you know I really don't know why they just if they if they know that the shows are going to can cancel why don't you just have it you know. A couple of episodes to kind of wrap things up. So that's my just my little rant for that. But overall, I really recommend this show if you are a sci-fi fan. If you're just a um, curious about the show, um, probably uh, clips on YouTube you can see the show. Um, different cl um, clips on there. Probably one of my favourite characters probably on that show is Rigel. He's kind of like a little pup kind of thing. He's a very, very funny one. Uh, you have Diago. He's a um, warrior kind of one. Um, of course, the ship is a living ship. You got the pilot. Very interesting characters in this show. And you know, it was they played a lot of reference to a lot of other shows. Um, they played, especially in the first couple of episodes. You know, made reference to Star Wars a little bit, making that reference to Star Trek and other kind of shows in a way, so yes, Farscape, my complete collection. So if you have watched the show Farscape, what is your opinions on it, do you like it, please leave a comment underneath, and if you do like this video, please rate, comment or subscribe, and I'll be back next time with another, um, showing off another TV show collection, so stay tuned. This is Mr Oz Videos, signing off.